Should we do Manhunt first? Yes. Yeah. Starred Martin Clunes as D-side Co- Colin Sutton. Placed in charge of investigation in the mur- into the murder of Amélie Delagrage, um, a French student whose body was uh, discovered on Twi- Twickenham Con- Common. I didn't think I struggled with that as much as... No, the you French did the girl. French name. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Twickenham was a real struggle. Uh, so this was a three-part drama written by, as you said, Ed Whitmore, whose interview with Luke you will hear shortly. And he looks at the event- investigation and how similar attacks on young women, murders and, and, and the like were linked to this murder, including the disappearance of Millie, Millie Dowler. The drama climaxes with the arrest and the ultimate charging of uh, Sarah Collette, Levi Belfield, with multiple murders. Now, Luke... Um, had an interesting relationship with this, so do you want to talk us through it? I watched them as they went out. They went out Sunday, Monday, Tuesday on ITV. Sunday night, I really struggled. I watched the first one, and I just found it... I found Martin Clunes' character, Colin Sutton, too sort of ordinary and not compelling enough at all, which is weird for me, because that's one of the things I like about Unforgotten, is that the two cops at the centre... No matter how bizarre or bonkers the things going on around them, they've got their feet on the ground, they're ordinary people, but for some reason it didn't click with me. And then the second episode, I had a completely different feel about where, yes, this is the whole point. This is a real-life story. It's not heightened. It's not OTT. This is how the investigation went. I actually think by the end, I found it incredibly compelling and... I don't think it's too uh, b- b- big a statement to say one of the best things I've seen on ITV in a long while because actually the final episode was really chilling with when we saw what who Levi Belfield was and the, the kind of life he was living. The fact that it was true gave it this sort of real edge as well because you, you knew all these things had happened. It felt very authentic and I was really pleased that ITV put this on over consecutive nights because it may well be that if they just shown one and I had to wait a week for another, I may not have gone back because for some reason that first episode wasn't paced quick enough for me. But what did you think? I was very similar. I thought it struggled pace-wise. I would disagree with you about Martin Clunes. That would possibly might be my only reason for continuing because I thought he made Colin Sutton into a, like a regular guy. Mm. Like, And as you say, we, we've liked that before. I, I was also oohing and ahhing about whether to watch the second episode and I thought well if I don't I won't have as much to talk about on the podcast that was my main reason yeah. apart from maybe Clunes' performance but then yeah as you say it developed more and more and I think what it did well was showing you the sort of mundanity of a police investigation Rodri Jones I thought was very good in this from Gavin and Stacey you know searching mm. through all the cameras on all the different buses and trying to get perspectives of that you know there was that bit where they were just looking over the bridges trying to see these vans the bits where they were going through all the receipts from Summerfield. It wasn't all sort of glitz and glamour and running around and things like that. And it felt very precise and, and a good look at a police investigation, really. And I think the casting was very good in that they didn't cast sort of starry faces, but people who sort of looked like normal coppers, really. Mm. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. I thought the documentary sort of take on it was very good, the giving the exact dates and times and... And the mundanity of a police investigation was really one thing that I hadn't seen done as well on television before because there's always some element of dressing it up or making it slightly more dra- dramatised or whatever. But I really thought they really got the, as you said, the mundanity of it down really, really well. As you said, Luke, it's definitely something, one of the best ITV dramas I've seen in a very, very long time. So what do we think? Oh, sorry. I was just going to say generally about Martin Clunes' performance because, I mean, I liked it from the offset. It took you a while. It did take me a while, but I think what he did well, I think it was a combination of, of different things. I think the case changed him as it as it went on, so his character yeah. developed. And also, Ed Whitmore, the writer, sort of was going off his diary, so it felt very authentic. And by the end of it, I was really rooting for him. I loved the scene where he goes over to where his, his wife works and has a very <laughs> strong exchange uh, with the guy working on the Millie Dowler case. And then he gets shouted at and has to take a phone call and doesn't even blink. I thought that was brilliant. I I respected how respectful it was of everybody involved in the case because the Millie Dowler thing, still very fresh in people's minds, I'm sure. And for this to air on TV this soon, I think was a bit of a masterstroke by ITV. I thought it was 
pretty perfect 